1370 WOCA. Five minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. I want to remind you of something we witnessed, Robin. You and I were performing music to try to raise money for uh, something or other. I can't remember what it was. And we were over at the bowling alley. Remember this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're playing music in the bowling alley. And the reason this is important in this discussion is because in playing music, you're sedentary. You're sitting in one spot for, in, in our case, probably two hours. Okay, mm-hmm. so one spot for two hours. And so this, the whole place was packed with people bowling and people eating. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, it was, it was a great event. It was Huge. just so such fun. Yeah, we had a great time. And so we're, we're playing the music, and um, of course we don't converse with each other while we're playing the music, so then we take a break. And I said, have you seen that lady sitting at that table in front of us? And mm-hmm. you said, which one? I said, the one that was eating all the chicken wings. Yeah. And you said, well, no, I, I didn't really. I said, well, look, there she is right there. She's still eating chicken wings, and look how skinny she is. Yeah, she was real How thin. is it possible that she can be putting so much food into <laughs> herself, and she's so thin? Exactly. Uh, and, uh, of course, it's an interesting thing to observe for somebody like myself, because a weight issue has always been a part of my life. Um, and... I'm reading the information about this next book, and I'm wondering if it applies to men as well. (laughs) The book is called The Hormone Reset Diet, Heal Your Metabolism to Lose Up to 15 Pounds in 21 Days. It is written by our guest, Dr. Sarah Gottfried. She's on the phone, and I think the best way to explain this is to let her explain it. Uh, She is, by the way, I'll give some of her credentials. She's an integrative gynecologist, board certified in obstetrics and gynecology. She's a teacher of the adjunct faculty at Turo University College of Osteopathic Medicine. Hope I said some of that right. Uh, She's a mentor of medical students and um, a New York Times bestselling author, which I can understand why. Can you imagine if somebody told you the dieting and all that isn't really what you need to do to lose weight. What you need to do is reset your metabolism with hormone therapy. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Sarah Godfrey, good morning, doctor. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. Where are you calling from? I'm in Berkeley, California. All right. Well, thank you for getting up early to be on the air with us today. My pleasure. How do you reset hormones? And is this this good for men or just for women? It's good for the guys as well. I can tell you that we've had 10,000 people go through this program where we watch them super carefully, and about 5% of those 10,000 were men, mostly husbands that were dragged along for the ride. And men even lose more weight. They've got the testosterone advantage. So you've got more muscle mass. You tend to do really well when you reset your hormones. Okay. So why do our hormones need to be reset? What happened in nature that made so many of us go out of whack? Great question. You were just talking about the woman that was in front of you eating chicken wings and was really skinny. Now, I would say she had a perfect metabolism, and we all know those people who can eat whatever they want and they still stay thin. Those are people who have a metabolism that really works. So they eat, and it gets burned as fuel. It doesn't get stored as fat. And then there's the rest of us who have a broken metabolism, and I used to have this as well. And what happens is food dictates what your body does. Hormones dictate what your body does with food. And if you have a broken metabolism, you're going to store fat no matter what. So there's seven hormones in particular that need to be reset so that you can start to burn fat again. And those are the seven that we address in the book. Okay, so but I, want, I have a question about why it went, why it was broken. Is it broken because we've been eating the wrong foods? For example, I, I used I used to be, but I've, I'm now into June, whatever mm-hmm. today. So so since the the first of the year, I had a New Year's resolution that I've stuck to. Yes, you I have. have. I haven't had any D- little Debbies, and, and I was a big little Debbie guy. <laughs> so, so so just think about that. Was that was I actually damaging the hormones? as opposed to simply adding calories? Yes, so you can damage hormones if you're eating the wrong food. So the why, I would say, is number one, food, especially the food industry and how it's changed our food over time. And we can go through some examples if you'd like. But definitely sugar, eating too much red meat, eating high fructose fruit, these are some of the things that can destroy your metabolism and slow it down. As an example, for people who really love grains, and maybe even gluten. 
What that can do is slow down your thyroid, especially if you have something called Hashimoto's, which is the number one reason for your thyroid being slow. Your thyroid's one of those key hormones that controls how fast or how slow you burn calories. When you eat gluten, it slows down your thyroid even more. Even if you're so not gluten, whatever, intolerant, even, even if you're okay with gluten in general? Well, a lot of people don't realize that they have gluten intolerance. You know, celiac is kind of one extreme. It's an autoimmune condition, but there are many people with gluten intolerance who don't know it, oh, okay. and it's the reason for their belly fat. It's the reason why their thyroid's slow. And so what I recommend is that for 21 days, you reset your hormones. You do each of these seven hormones in three-day blocks, and you see what happens. It may be during the, the grain-free reset that you lose five pounds, and then you have a diagnosis for why your metabolism is slow. Uh, you say in your book that you can lose up to 15 pounds in 21 days. Isn't that sort of dangerous if you have that much of a drastic weight loss? Uh, does your body uh, adjust itself because it's off so fast? Well, I'm not a fan of yo-yo dieting. And what I think is important is to reset your hormones and to see where that leads you in terms of your weight loss. For people who don't have as much to lose when they go through this program and they reset their hormones, they might lose 10 or 12 pounds. And over three weeks, uh, you know, I think we could debate whether that is too fast. I think you want to be cautious and you want to have the slow and steady progress in terms of your weight loss. Now, what we find with a lot of people who go through the program is they lose weight with the initial 21 days, and then they continue to lose weight afterwards at a slower pace mm -hmm. because your hormones are fixed. So give us an idea of how to do this. It sounds like it's what we eat. So the first three days, what would we do? So the first three days, you're resetting estrogen by going meatless, giving up red meat, swapping it for more seafood, for organic chicken, for uh, plant-based protein, such as lentils and beans. And you're also giving up alcohol because red meat and alcohol raise your estrogen level and they mm -hmm. can cause you to be weight loss resistant. Okay, that, I believe that. that yeah. That's pretty much my diet all the time. I hardly eat red meat. <laughs> exactly. You don't, I don't drink, drink alcohol. at all. No, we we don't drink at all. Yeah. So, so I, I got number good. one. I don't have to do that for three days. I could do that the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Except once in a while, I do have hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I, honestly, I very rarely have red meat. Very rarely. Mm -hmm. Uh, does well, that's, that's good. And uh, doesn't your bo body need some type of fiber, though? Do you, would you get that from the vegetables? Yes. So as part of this first three-day reset, you're eating a pound of vegetables divided over the course of the day. But that's what really helps you to dial in your estrogen. Now, estrogen is important for both men and women. For women, when you have too much, it leads to uh, mood swings, weight loss resistance, even abnormal pap smears. And oh. for men, it can give you estrogenic deposits because estrogen goes up as you get older. So especially after the age of 40, you can start to have man boobs and more fat, especially around your waist and around your hips. Mm -hmm. uh, man boobs. <laughs> I don't have those. <laughs> no, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have them. All right, uh, all right, so <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about fruit earlier, too. I mean, that should be probably the, one of the go-to foods, but you said they're kind of dangerous. Well, the problem, again, is that the food industry has changed fruit over time. I grew up with a great-grandmother who was a bit of a radical. She was a whole foodist. She practiced yoga. And when she ate an apple, she was born in 1900, it was about one to two grams of fructose. Fruit, fructose is fruit sugar. Now, when you eat an apple, it's no longer the small green tart apple that my great-grandmother ate. It's a big, huge sugar bomb that typically oh. has 20 to 25 grams of fructose. So the problem with fructose is, of course, high fructose corn syrup. But once you've cut that out, a lot of people, they hear that they need to eat 9 to 11 servings of fresh fruits and vegetables a day. Right. And they reach for the bananas. They reach for, you know, the, the fruits that are pretty high in fructose, maybe dried apricots, which are the highest of all. And they're not realizing that if you get too much fructose in your body, it will make you start to store fat. It also disrupts your leptin. Leptin is the satiety hormone that tells you to put the fork down. Oh, so, gosh. so if if we're eating the right foods uh, uh, and the right amounts of those foods, 
it sounds like we would lose weight just because of that. But it sounds like what you're saying is it goes beyond that. It goes to repairing the whatever's wrong with the, with the hormones. That's right. I mean, there's some people, there's many people out there. I, I've seen them in my practice over the past 25 years who are eating the right foods. They've dialed in the right quantity, but their metabolism was broken from, say, eating Little Debbie's over time. Yeah. And now they're eating right, but they still can't lose the weight. So what you have to do is you have to reset your hormones because that's what gets disrupted when you're eating the wrong foods, even if you've reformed yourself and you're eating the right foods now. I want the listeners to hang in there, and, and doctor, if you could hang in there, I have to take a little break. Uh, I want to be sure we're fair to the book. I want to find out what's in the book. It's called The Hormone Reset Diet, and we, of course, we'll give away the one copy we have at the end of the interview. Uh, in, until then, go to the website, Sarah. Gottfried dot, uh, GottfriedMD.com. Is that correct, doctor? That's right. Sarah GottfriedMD.com. If you, if you need the spelling, just go to WOCA.com. Robin already has it on the guest list. We'll t- and we'll spell it out for you when we come back. This is WOCA Ocala. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Today, partly sunny, a high of 88 to 91. Then tonight, mainly clear skies, a low of 70 to 76. Tomorrow to start the weekend, partly sunny, a thunderstorm in parts of the area for the afternoon, a high of 89 to 94. And then to round out the weekend on Sunday, partly sunny, a thunderstorm in spots in the afternoon, a high of 88 to 96. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Evan Duffy. Whether you're building it up or knocking it down, get it done, rent it now. Sunbelt Rentals is here to make your job a little easier. Our knowledgeable staff will help you find the right equipment for any job, big or small. Did you know that Sunbelt Rentals carries heaters, air conditioners, generators, lighting, traffic control, and so much more? So whether you're building it up or knocking it down, we've got the equipment you need. Get it done, rent it now. And right now, for a limited time, you can have it for less. Just by mentioning this ad, if you rent it Friday afternoon, you can keep it the whole weekend and only pay for one day. But this is a limited time offer, so stop into Sunbelt Rentals today, Northwest 27th, just a quarter mile east of I-75. For more information, just give us a call, 352-369-9101. 352-369-9101. Sunbelt Rentals. Get it done, rent it now. 352-369-9101. Don't get caught without your daily source of senior deals. Pick up your copy of the Senior Voice newspaper. It's your source for schedule and events tailored to seniors with information you need, like a list of free events in the area. We even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company to you that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about them. For more information, call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223 and pick up your copy of The Senior's Voice at most any business up and down the 200 corridor. Now read Ocala downtown newspaper online. 18 minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Dr. Sarah Gottfried is on the phone. She's the author of The Hormone Reset Diet, Heal Your Metabolism to Lose Up to 15 Pounds in 21 Days. Doctor, we always hear uh, diet and exercise is how you lose weight. Does exercise affect your hormones? Exercise can affect your hormones. Certainly insulin It can also help with growth hormone if you like to do interval training or burst training. But it's uh, it's not quite as much of the equation as I think most people realize. You know, when I when I was overweight, when I was about 25 pounds heavier than I am now, and I went to my doctor in my mid 30s and I said, "Please help me," he told me I needed to exercise more and eat less. And that just didn't feel right to me. I felt like my problem was hormonal, and that's what got me started on this path. I left his office, uh, didn't take the prescription for an antidepressant that he was suggesting. Oh, no. (laughs) And checked my hormones, and I found, for instance, that my cortisol, my stress hormone, was three times what it should have been. Oh, my goodness. And what was going on with that high cortisol was that it was giving me more belly fat, and it was also slowing down my thyroid and making me estrogen dominant. Now, at the time, I was a runner. I would run about 20 to 25 miles a week. Wow. And if, if I just ran more, that would raise my cortisol even further. So that was not the solution. But when it comes to the math of how much is diet, how much is exercise, on average, it's about 75% your food and about 25% your exercise. So it sounds like, and I, and I know we've mostly been focusing on losing weight, but it sounds like if you reset your hormones, you not, let's say you don't need to lose weight, 
but it could affect your mood. It could affect your headaches. It could affect other things. Am I right? That's absolutely true because when you reset your hormones, you are connecting again to the intelligence of your body. You're getting the hormones to work the way that they were intended, the way they maybe did when you were a child. And what happens is it just allows you to have that lean body mass and the low body fat that you need to really have the longest health span. And by that, I mean the period of time over which you feel fantastic, you know, lengthening middle age, for instance. And it improves your mood, it improves energy, it improves sex drive, it makes your skin more glowy. It's a good thing. And uh, those, those are some of the issues that women have when they go through menopause. Their doctor will ask them, did you want to take estrogen or not? There are pros and cons for either way you decide. How do you keep the woman in that situation from gaining weight and how do you help her make the choice? Should she take estrogen or not? Well, that's a pretty complicated decision that I think needs to happen with your clinician, with a knowledgeable, collaborative cl- clinician. But I can tell you after prescribing bioidentical hormones for 25 years that what I believe is that you need to start first with your lifestyle. You need to start with your fork, with how you eat, move, think, and supplement. And when you do that, if you end up needing to go on hormones, such as bioidentical hormones like I prescribe, you will need a much lower dose and you'll take it for a shorter duration. Now, what I see a lot of women do is they're suffering in menopause and I understand that, but they jump to the hormones and they keep needing more and more of the hormones in order to sleep through the night and feel like their mood is good. And you can get into a situation where you become resistant to the hormones and then you can start to lose, to gain weight. And so I think it's much better to dial in the food first before you go on the hormones. You, you gave us a little bit of insight into your own personal story. You've worked with other people. Can you give us a success story of somebody who maybe like oh, similar to the story you told was overweight but was doing the right. It sounds like, I mean, running 25 miles a week, that sounds, yeah. that sounds like you shouldn't have been overweight at all. Well, I think that there's a lot of people who are overweight when they're running and, uh, and they're more prone to injury because of the extra weight. But the problem is there's certain forms of exercise like spinning and running that raise your cortisol. And if you're someone who tends to have high cortisol anyway, like I do, that's not the best form of exercise. I do much better when I go to bar class or when I do Pilates or other forms of exercise that don't raise my cortisol. Mm -hmm. But yes, we've got lots of success stories. Christy comes to mind. She's a, a mom of three who went through this program and she had some food swaps that she needed to make. You know, she she had a, a fondness for French fries in particular. So she got rid of the French fries. She started eating more kale chips and eating her pound of vegetables a day and some wild salmon. She lost 17 pounds when she went through the program. Now, she had more weight to lose, and when she reset her hormones, she continued to lose weight. This was about a year ago that she went on the program. She's lost a total of 79 pounds oh, by now. wow. Wow. Nice. So that's a, that's a great story. <clears throat> so, but but I, I think the person who just hears what she did would say, okay, that's how she lost the weight because of her change in eating habits. Mm-hmm. But again, just to stress what I think you're trying to say is it's not just about the calories and the fat in the food. It's about the way they affect your hormones. That's exactly right. So in Christy's case, you know, she did not have much energy. She had three kids. She was breastfeeding her her third child when she went through this program, and and she had low energy. She just felt like she couldn't even exercise because she just didn't have the energy to even walk around the block. And as she went on this program and reset her hormones, her mood was lifted. She felt like she had real sustained energy when she woke up in the morning. She wasn't craving, you know, a cup of two or uh, three of coffee. And she started to exercise more as, as she started to lose weight because the hormones were reset. So yes, you're right. It's much more than just weight loss. It's much more than just a drill sergeant say, saying you can eat this, not that. Right, right. When you reset your hormones, it really changes your whole outlook. And is that, uh, is that what you based your uh, camp sustenance on? Because that was pretty clever, I thought. <laughs> yes. Well, I think a lot of people, when they lose weight, they then struggle. They figure out, you know, they're, they're not sure how to maintain it or to keep going. And so I really wanted to dive into the scientific literature to look at what makes a difference when people are able to lose weight and keep it off. 
And a big part of that is protein, you know, really making sure that you're getting the protein that you need, that you don't start to backslide into eating more of the refined carbohydrates again. We know exercisers really are the ones who are the best at keeping weight off. In fact, I would even say exercise is better at helping you maintain your weight than Mm -hmm. it is with helping you lose weight. And does that happen in a a reverse when a person is too thin, they need to get on this kind of regimen that you prescribe to build the weight and the body mass up? Yes, we have less experience with that. It's just not very common for people who, who are thinner and maybe under eating. But with all of these hormones, you can have a problem with excess and you can also have a problem with not producing enough. Like you may not produce enough insulin or you may not produce enough cortisol and then feel tired or even have chronic fatigue during the day. So you're right. We want to reset all of these hormones, get it into the Goldilocks position, whether you're someone who's underweight or overweight. The, uh, the book, again, is called The Hormone Reset Diet. We've got uh, about four minutes left, so let me give away the copy that you sent us. Call me if you want the copy that was sent to us. The number is 622-9622. Again, it's The Hormone Reset Diet. Sarah Gottfried is the author, and her website is sarahgottfriedmd.com. Uh, doctor, are there any other ways we can get the book? Is there a, um, on Amazon, for example, I'm guessing? It's definitely on Amazon. If you want to read more about it, I've got a website where you don't have to learn how to spell my last name, which is hormonereset.com. Her last name looks like Got Fried with two T's. <laughs> Sarah Got Fried. So, so uh, is that you on the cover? That's me on the cover. Wow. Well, you look great. Thank and, you. And, and so, do you know, I'm, I'm wondering, what happens after 21 days? You, you just keep doing the same thing over again? No, it's 21 days of detoxing, and then... I believe in a re-entry period where you start to add these foods back. Maybe you start to add back a little more fructose, so you're eating more fruit. You add back the red meat, and you see what happens. Now, when I did this program for the first time 10 years ago to solve my hormonal woes, I added back dairy, and I promptly gained three pounds the first day. Oh, really? Five pounds. Wow. In wow. Days. And it was because I had an intolerance to dairy, and I didn't know it. So when you re-enter and you add food back and then you observe your response for three days, it allows you to get back into a conversation with your body and figure out, okay, these are the foods I need to, to keep out of my yeah, food plan yeah. and these are the foods I'm going to continue eating. And that's one of the most important points you make in the book about uh, new habits. You have to get your body uh, used to that and also that uh, you won't have to depend on willpower anymore because your body will know that you're trying to move in the proper direction. That's right. I think habits are really important to replace willpower because most people have a limit on their willpower. I can tell you when I struggled with my weight, I felt like my willpower kept banker's hours. It was Mm -hmm. great until about five o'clock and then I would (laughs) want a glass or two of wine. Yes, yes. You know, maybe some uh, carbs and that's that's where I would undo all the good stuff I did during the day. So you've got to get the habits. And you know know what's crazy? It's it's I used to smoke cigars and I haven't smoked cigars probably seven years now. Now Larry went cold turkey. But 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 you don't need cigars. You need food. So it's kinda like one of those crazy things where you can't do all or nothing with food. You have Mm -hmm. to have some food. You, you don't you have, have to have, have little food. Debbies, though. So Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have well, completely... you need to have the food that b- that's best for you. And I, I think really connecting to that sense of what is the best thing for your body, what's going to serve you best, and then wanting that food, that's the habit we want to create. And you also uh, instill in the reader that the reader is the person who is the most important, that they're going to be happier and healthier if they do something the right way and not the wrong way and take it to extremes. That's right. I think, you know, we live in an extreme society where, uh, you know, people just, they tend to do something pretty outlandish because they're desperate to lose weight. And I think what's much better is to go with the slow, small baby steps that really add up to major transformation over time. That's what really creates change. Absolutely. Let's see if I can uh, give away the book. Uh, Good morning. You've got the book. Who's this? Hey, this is Tom. Larry, how you doing? Good, Tom. You you want the book? Yeah, I do. All right. It'll have your name on it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tom. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. You Bye. too. And, and so, and so Tom, Tom is obviously responding to what we're talking about. And being a man, it was that was my first question. Is I, this, this information sounds interesting, and I'd like to try it out. So it's not just for women. It's not just for women. I can tell you my husband goes through this program with me at least four times a year. And... 
he always loses more weight than me. He feels fantastic. He, I think he he uh, deages about ten years. Oh, oh that's, that's another wonderful. another good point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, doctor, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure. We'll be right back. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The president's wrapped up his Capitol Hill meeting where he made a case for his trade bill, which is getting a House vote. Fast Track, which is the White House's top legislative priority, would give the president authority to negotiate trade deals that Congress could approve or reject, but not amend. Fox Radio's John Decker. An Iowa tradition ending, GOP officials have agreed to end the straw poll amid weakening interest from presidential hopefuls. And an update on the investigation into the prison escape by Two killers, authorities believe David Sweat and Richard Matt cut their way out of their cell in upstate New York using power tools. Female prison employees suspected of helping them. Joyce Mitchell, based on our investigation, has not provided power tools. She has not provided any form of power tools to either uh, Sweat or me or Matt. Clinton County DA Andrew Wiley, Fox News. We report, you decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. A man told his wife he only wanted a nice card this Father's Day. So she went to Golfsmith and got the new tailor-made AeroBurner iron set and a free $100 gift card. He was overwhelmed by the thoughtfulness of the card and couldn't really blame her for keeping the irons for herself. Hurry into Golfsmith from now until June 28th and get a free gift card of up to $100 when you purchase a new tailor-made AeroBurner club. Golfsmith. Anything for golf. At Choice Hotels, we know business trips start with a choice. Stay or go. You can press send or press palms. Start a chat room or chat in an actual room. Just remember, opportunities won't come to you. you got to get out there to get things done. Should I stay or should I go? Choicehotels.com makes it fast and easy to find a range of choice hotels like Comfort Inn and Suites. So stay with us for business and book now at choicehotels.com. You always have a choice. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. All right, it's 1132. Ruben is on the phone from Jerry's Point and Gun. And uh, remember, Father's Day is one week and two days away. So if you haven't gotten a gift for Dad yet, then this is a great time to pay attention to what Ruben is going to tell you because they have some really good things over at Jerry's Point and Gun. Good morning, Ruben. How you doing? Great, guys. How you doing today? Yeah, hard to believe Father's Day is only a week and two days away, huh? Oh, I know. It is creeping up on us. So, um, you know, if you hadn't got your father a Father's Day gift yet, you need to come on down to Jerry's Pond and Gun and see us. Yeah. Is your, is your dad living around here? Are you near him? Yeah, actually, yes. My dad is uh, very close. He's about 30 miles away, but you can believe I'll be getting his Father's Day gift from right here. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Are you a daddy? Are you a father? Yes, I am. Oh, wow. How many children do you have? Uh, just one. Just one. Aw, oh, wow. congratulations. Yes, just, 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 just one. <laughs> and, uh, you know, hopefully um, he'll uh, be uh, t- uh, appreciated to his dad like I am to mine. Uh, I'm sure he will. I mean, just in the yes. little time we've gotten to know you, it sounds like, yeah. Uh, so so this is a good weekend to go out canoeing, and, and if you don't have a canoe, you can get one from Jerry's Pawn and Gun. I, I love your canoes over there, by the way. Well, thank you very much. Yes, we carry a full line of the Indian River canoes, and they are excellent. We have them. Um, from something if you're on a budget and then we have them a little bit more expensive if you want to invest or put a little more money into it but they are a great great product we sell a lot of them and everyone is just crazy about them don't don't you love the fact that we can now canoe in the silver river i mean on the silver springs part of the silver river Mm -hmm. oh definitely i love it and i think it's a great uh thing to the state is you know taking it over now and that way everyone can enjoy it and it's just open to the public it's a great thing and it's a beautiful beautiful place it is yeah and I really like the fact that uh, electric motors are uh, uh, coming into vogue now as opposed to gasoline power and when you go up to the headwaters and things because that gets rid of a lot of trash if you use an electric motor. 
Oh, I agree. And uh, we actually sometimes get the electrical ones in here, and uh, we make sure they're great merchandise, and they work really well. And electric's the way to go. It's the way of the future. Do you have GPS uh, units for sale over there? Yes, we do. We have a couple of different ones. We have one GPS unit where it's for, like, if you're fishing or hunting, you can put in your uh, coordinates from your vehicle to or point A to point B, right. and it will let you navigate or mark your favorite fishing hole or uh, your favorite camping spot. And we also have another model that is a, a trucker's model, which is if you're going on vacation or traveling for work or what have you, same thing, point A, point B, or certain popular waypoints, it will help you navigate from and to. And do you have cameras there for the dad that likes to take photos? Yes, we also, we have Canon, we have uh, some Nikon cameras and some different lenses and things and uh, battery packs and gadgets to go with them. We, we, we try to keep something here for everyone. Um, we have a lot of tools, Snap-on, Ingersoll Rand, Matco, Mac, a lot of collectible rifles, Colt, Winchester, Brown and Shotguns, we're a full-line Brown and dealer as well. We have musical instruments, and we also, too, if I may mention real quick, we have a full-line jewelry department, and our on-site jeweler guy, which is the best ever, mm -hmm. can fix anything, even a broken heart, as long as it's made of silver or gold. <laughs> oh, I love that. What's the, what's the weirdest thing somebody ever came in to pawn? Uh, the, actually, the weirdest thing, true story, we had a guy call, and he asked, were we interested in teeth? And um, I said, excuse me? And he knew a guy that was a hockey player, and the guy gave him his teeth, and he tried to sell him his sell us his teeth. Oh, oh, yes. oh. Strangest thing by far. Wow. <laughs> wow. Were, they, were they famous teeth? Yeah, he said they were famous <laughs> teeth, which we told him, you know, we don't buy teeth. Uh, so I don't know. I never saw them, but that uh, was the strangest. How do you put a certificate of authenticity on teeth? Yeah, really. yeah, I guess you would have to have someone come in that has a problem whistling to verify those are my teeth. <laughs> uh, do you have charms? <laughs> do, yes. do you have charms there? Because uh, people like giving charms to, in addition to charm bracelets for the family. Yes, we do. We have a lot of charms. We have some crosses. We have airboats, which are very popular in the summertime. We oh. have some uh, half moons, deer charms. We have a lot of different ones in the store, and also, too, if it's something we don't have when you come in, we can order pretty much anything and get it for you. So we have a friend named Doug, and he loves the Duck Dynasty. Yep. Do you have the clothing that they wear? What is that, like camo clothing? Yeah. We have some of the Duck Dynasty stuff, not not a lot of it because it sells really well, but we do have some of it here. Okay. We have some of the happy, happy, happy stuff. Everyone knows that catchphrase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we do have some of the Duck Dynasty merchandise, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we also, too, we have uh, a lot of the Costa stuff. We have a full line of Costa sunglasses, which is very popular. So uh, we try to keep something here for everyone to have a good time with or just serious collectible well if if we've uh, piqued your interest that's that was what we were trying to do we wanted you to hear a little bit of this and a little bit of that from jerry's point and gun my my big statement about jerry's point and gun is they will treat you fair i have yes. never gone into there and paid what it said on the st on the sticker mm -hmm. and well, i'm and definitely i'm not good at haggling i'm not good at haggling but you guys haggle for me yeah well, we, we try to treat everyone fair, and what I was fixing to touch on is, like, it's summertime, whether you're getting on vacation or you might have some merchandise laying around that you're tired of, we're looking for good merchandise. And what I mean by that is we're looking for like Winchester collectible rifles, Brown and shotguns, German rifles, old Colt pistols, German pistols, gold, diamonds, your silver coins, your, your gold coins. If you've got some nice tools, Ingersoll Rand, snap on you know uh saddles anything that's of good merchandise that would be of value bring it down here let us look at it we'll try to make a deal with you we'll treat you right on it and put a little money in your pocket and it'll help us have some inventory for our shelves okay so nice. be before i ask you the phone number and the address i'm looking at the picture on at the top of your face uh of your youtube i'm sorry your internet your website jerry's com. i yes. know i know jerry i know brianna i know kevin um, and oh, I know the lady on the right, but I can't remember her name. Which one of these lady uh, guys is you? Which one of these guys is you? Actually, there is not a picture of me on there yet because I have not been here that late. Oh, you know, picture. Okay. Since I've been here, but um, I'll be in the new one. I'm not in that one yet. Okay. Okay. And do you, who's there's the no one. There's no one that handsome in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> What's the lady's name on the right side of the picture? What's her name? I know her too. She's always there. The, the um, is it Miss Lindy? I don't know. 
don't might know. be Miss Lindy, maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe. It uh, would be Brianna or Miss Lindy, one or the other. Well, I know yes, Brianna. Miss Lindy. Brianna, I know. And I know this lady, too. I just don't can't remember her name. It's Lindy. Yeah. Lindy. Lindy. And I'm not standing right where the picture is. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Look, I can't see it from where I'm at. Go online, jerrysonline.com. And uh, what's the phone number over there? The phone number is area code 352 622-3780. And where are you? What's the location? We are located at 404 Northwest 8th Street, Ocala, Florida. 34475. All right. You got a whole weekend. Get something for Father's Day because next weekend everything's going to be bought out. You might, yep. might as well go now. Definitely. Don't wait till the last minute, guys. You come on by and see us and we will take care of you. We will treat you right. And you will not find better hospitality than what we have here at Jerry's Pawn and Gun, guaranteed. Excellent. And, and don't forget the flag day. Flag day is on Sunday, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ruben, thank, exactly. thank you so much. Thank you for being on the air with us. Thank you, guys. It's always a pleasure. We appreciate what you guys do for us. We couldn't do it without you, and I uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you. Go to Jerry's Pawn and Gun. Say hi to Ruben. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, guys. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Today, partly sunny, a high of 88 to 91. Then tonight, mainly clear skies, a low of 70 to 76. Tomorrow to start the weekend, partly sunny, a thunderstorm in parts of the area for the afternoon, a high of 89 to 94. And then to round out the weekend on Sunday, partly sunny, a thunderstorm in spots in the afternoon, a high of 88 to 96. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Evan Duffy. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, this is Becky at Hello Gorgeous Salon. We are located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. I'd like to invite you to stop by and see our new boutique area and meet our staff of professional stylists. Here at Hello Gorgeous, we are ready to update your look with the latest trends. It's the perfect time to brighten up your look. So make your appointment now for those highlights and Brazilian blowout. But don't stop there. We are a full service salon offering manicures, pedicures, and facials also. So if you've been searching for a salon to call your own, come and see us at Hello Gorgeous Salon. We are located at 48 South Magnolia Avenue in downtown Ocala, right next to the Marion Theater. So call 